Pilots, thanks for tuning in to the Motion RC YouTube channel. We have the build video on tap for the Flightline RC F7F-3. When you see the fit and finish during this build, how things work, and the things I point out, you, you even if you're not a fan of this aircraft, you're going to be a fan of this model. It's just really neat how it goes together. And, um, man, it's nice to have guys who fly designing planes, isn't it, fellas? My goodness. So, uh, the landing gear are super sturdy, um, bigger tires, softer, mag wheels, the right color blue, metal trunnion retracts, big retracts, and a full metal reinforcement plate. Um, Multi-port wiring harness simplifies the wiring. Comes with four different livery options. Of course, hit Cali Graphics up if you're not interested in those. The prop decals are stick on, they're not water slide, so they're gonna be a little more durable and definitely last longer. Enjoy the build, I get some tight shots, let you see some of this beautiful design that went into bringing this F7F to uh, fruition. And uh, we're just, we couldn't be more proud of it. Good work team. Get yours at MotionRC.com, check out the product page, you see some great photos and uh, read up on this fantastic model and get yours at MotionRC.com. All right, let's jump into the build with some tight shots. It's a quick build and next time I see you, I'll have some decals on this plane. All right, see ya. Let's start with the wing. Check out the new wiring harness. It's going to make it a super easy job at the field. All you have is a ribbon and the battery lead, nylon hinges throughout, ball links, pocket style hinge, and fit of the aileron. Just fantastic. Carbon fiber reinforcement all over the place. Landing light comes down with the landing gear, nav light, hard points for screwing down the nacelle. The nacelle gear doors are spring-loaded, no servos, plastic parts, looks fantastic. Plastic cowl, and look at that dummy radial. It's amazing. Pilot figure, we have all seen him before. Pin catch style battery hatch cover. The only gluing is this, the aft end of the fuselage, carbon fiber, big foam block. Pocket style hinge, of course, nylon hinges, ball links for the rudder, nylon hinges all over the elevator, carbon fiber reinforcements. The design that went into this is fantastic. Stick around, we'll get this thing together in no time. The first thing the manual calls out is to assemble the, uh, the prop hubs. Uh, there's one that's a standard and there's one that's a reverse. That's, that's a great idea and you can do that if you'd like. Um, but in my case, I wanted to get this tail glued on. When you glue the rudder onto the aircraft, there's glue that's provided with the kit that tell you how to use it. Put it on there, pull it apart, wait 60 seconds, and then push it back in. That glue is fine. I, I used foam tack. But most importantly, and check out the image, most importantly, this section of the tail has the rudder and elevator servo leads wrapped up in in this chamber which is like a triangle up here um, don't get ahead of yourself make sure you pull those out and run those through the fuselage before you glue this thing together after that after the propellers and the manual being assembled what's next is the engine nacelle going on the wing we're going to do that right now here is one of the nacelles right here you're going to pull these wires out. You have landing gear, a throttle, and of course one of the battery leads. See these standoffs there on the white unpainted part of the foam, how one is higher than the other. Um, it's, it's marked that way on the wing as well. You, you just really can't get these wrong. All right, I've moved the wires out of the way. You can see this angle block here, so it's going to push them this way. My wires are through. Now I'm going to keep these tight as I'm cinching this up. Got my throttle and landing gear through already. Keep pulling the uh, battery lead. Make sure all the wires are out of the way. Take a good look at this as I 
basically rotate it into place. Before I cinch it up, take a really good look and make sure there are no wires pinched. Now just because I know I like it now, I'm going to flip it over and screw it and then I'll come back here and do these wires. 412 millimeter Phillips wood screw type screws. Plastic plates to receive these screws. The connections are very rigid. You see this go flush, you know you've got it. Uh, where the trailing edge meets the back of this nacelle. Um, if it's not flush, you might have some wires in the way or something. Snug, but not too tight. You'll compress the foam. It's always good to, after a few flights, check it out. Check out all your connections anyway. So here we are. we are already got our nacelle on, and we have our leads here coming from the nacelle, which is simply throttle and landing gear. Noting polarity throttle goes on the bottom set these are labeled too from the nacelle throttle lead goes on the bottom landing gear is the fifth position there's a going to be an empty spot for landing gear door that we don't need on this one and then there are two sets of two pins for lights and these are already, everything but the throttle and the landing gear are already plugged in when you get this out of the package. And you've got the cover to hide the wires, which is just super slick. Just like that, you'll glue that down. Now, I'm not gluing mine yet because just in case I need to get to the light for some reason... Um, and make sure I got the, the landing light hooked up in the right position. Uh, I can access that. Very easy to glue on later. Now here are one of the two ribbons. There's only one way to get it. There are these notches in the plug itself that make it impossible to get wrong. And make sure they're in there. They should basically feel like it clicks in there to a degree. Alright, it is time to hook this up to the fuselage. I cannot wait to see this bird on its, on its legs. So as you prepare the spars to enter the fuselage, you definitely want to also get your wiring where it needs to be. Get this in there. So I flipped her up on her side. Things are looking great ribbons in and we can get these pins these tabs going there we go you can see the brass is lined up we are in ladies and gentlemen awesome we're going to go ahead and attach the wing bolts you can see they look like this here um, I am using a large screwdriver but I will make sure I don't go too hard uh, torquing it down I like having a magnet on the screwdriver help me hold it and keep my hands out of the way for you so I'm using a little foam tack here just a little bit because I don't want to use Loctite. Um, lo I like Loctite, but I just don't want it anywhere near plastic at all. So I've got a little bit of foam tack on the threads. And cinch it up. Snug, but not ridiculous. Wow. Just a little bit of foam tack. A 
you can still undo the bolt if you need to. Beautiful. Okay, time for the other side. Now it is time for the other wing half. Um, I think it's essential to go ahead and screw in the first half um, just so you're not pushing it out when you go on with the second half. Just get it started enough to hold itself up. Then you can feed your wires and now it's just simply slide it in the rest of the way. Here's a pretty good look at this is plastic all this box inside to receive the junction and the spars and the tabs are all one piece um, of plastic glued into this fuselage with a lot of surface area making it super strong the brass threaded inserts here in these tabs receive the the bolts very nice And I'm in. I mean, it's as right as rain from the get-go. While I have the plane like this, I just want to show, finish off this wiring and show you what it looks like. You're going to you're going to plug in the ribbon coming from the right wing into the right port. Nice and positive, uh, secure fit there. And the other ribbon obviously will go to the other one. Brilliant. Now what you have is two leads from the tail that we glued on first. The rudder will go into the board. The elevator will go into the receiver once that's in the plane. The rudder is labeled. It is the bottom set of pins right here. Polarity is correct. I need all three pins, not two. It is in. Elevator, we will just tuck away right here until we're ready for that. Awesome. And then here's our battery leads. That's the wiring hookup, guys. Super easy. The right ribbon goes to the right port, the left to the left. The rudder servo from the actual rudder itself, not the nose steering, will be plugged in by the modeler into the board. Just super slick. All right. The next step in the manual is to put the horizontal stabilizer on. But at this point, I'm plugged in. I want to get my receiver in and these wheels down. These leads are already plugged into this board in the fuselage, and they are labeled, and they go directly from here to your receiver. The elevator lead, as I mentioned before, coming from the tail section through the fuselage before you glue it in is right here. This goes right to the receiver. There's no port for it on this board. Very good. Now, we get some double-sided tape, get this receiver out of the way, and drop these landing gear. All right. These cool things come in the kit. These are just like the non-skid uh, that they're starting to provide for uh, battery trays. There they are, unwrapped. These are great. Here we are, moment of truth. We are gonna get these landing gear down. Retracts. Look at that clean up. Access to adjust your steering right through here is the screw. Here they come. Landing light. All right, let's flip it over. Got to get the tail on. And then, I mean, I'm at um, linkages and 
decals at this point. I mean, and throws. This thing's done. My word. All right. Horizontal stabilizer time. They come in the package together already. This spar is already glued into one half. Now, what I would do normally is go ahead and screw that side I just put in already, but I think I'll be okay. See these, this big plastic plate where the screws go, and then you have these standoffs. They fit in this foam here, and then of course there's hard points for the screws, and of course, again, the spar goes in there, and they join right here. Uh, back there for the moving surface you've got nylon hinges carbon reinforcements all over the place but these I really like this I've not ever seen that before these little um, slots and standoffs in a way um, to help give it that stability so it, it, it won't get where it's wallowing in the pocket at all very very slick Make sure your yep. Make sure your uh, surfaces mate well, and they do. My, and it's locked in. It's not even screwed in, and it feels great. Holy smokes! Gorgeous. Channel locks, brand wheel chocks. <laughs> this thing is awesome. All right, I'm going to screw in the horizontal stab. It's down to throws and linkages, guys, and picking a decal set. The flap push rods, and there are four, are all the same size at 63 millimeters. The aileron push rods are the longest at 95 the elevator is the shortest at 58 and the rudder is the second longest at 80. Outer hole for the ailerons. There it is. Go ahead and do the flaps while we're at it. Make sure I'm in the neutral position. I really don't like twisting that much out on the uh, clevis. So I'm going to take a look at the travel adjustment for the flaps and see if I can't help myself out a little bit. So here's the way the prop assembly goes together. You have standard prop and reverse prop. It doesn't matter which hub you choose. The three other screws go on the back. Holds the hub on. And then, then this screw screws it to the shaft right there. Check your bolts here for the propeller, um, the ones that go through the main hub. Uh, every few flights, just make sure that they're there still. They have the blue Loctite that comes on here. But I use foam tack on this as well, just to make sure little tiny bit of foam tack on there I'm just nuts I don't want a lot I just want some there's already the blue on here look at that pilots thanks for watching the build video of this fantastic looking aircraft it looks great it went together great super quick and easy it's just a couple screws and a couple leads to get the wing half off if you have to transport it. Um, rigid construction, very neat wing box in here that receives the spars, the screw down tabs for the wings, also the multi-port wiring harness uh, which simplified this tremendously is also an integral part of that plastic rigid um, wing box in here. 
Takes two four cell batteries ranging from 3,000 to 4,000. Same power system as our Flightline RC P38. Just a fantastic model, uh, exquisite build, and it just keeps getting better and better. Get yours at MotionRC.com. Stop by, visit the product page, read up more specs and information on this. Um, you can see the parts listing. You can visit the thread at Hobby Squawk um, and see some pictures, some of the early guys have and uh, it's coming soon so uh, get yours at motionrc.com as always thanks for watching remember to subscribe to the youtube channel follow us on facebook and google plus don't forget to jump in the conversation at the hobby squawk forums we'll see you there uh, for all of us at motion rc we really appreciate you coming over and see you out at the field next time